Well, welcome back, Texas. The fun continues, and our next guest is a nutritionist, a personal trainer, uh, and owner of Brook Rozzi Health Coaching. And her goal is really to help us find not the number on the scale, it's the, the clothes, it's what you're wearing, it's how you feel, it's so much more. And I'm just excited to have her today. Give her a warm welcome. Hey, Brooke. Hi. I'm so I'd like to do it. Guys. Oh, thanks. We're honored to have you here today. And I'd like to dive in today and begin by asking, how did your relationship and exposure to food growing up with your mom impact your own eating? Just like so many women who are in their 30s and 40s, I grew up in what you would call like, I call it the snack walls generation, right? Snack walls, cookies, metabolite, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, all those diets and things. Mm. I found with a lot of women, when they tell me they have a goal, ultimately the behind that number is really how they want to feel. It's not about the number. It's about how you're truly feeling. And so I started mm -hmm. to kind of shift how I do that because of how I grew up and then what I was seeing with a lot of clients. You know, Brooke, I want to ask a quick question here because how many of us are at home getting the Weight Watchers, getting the, no, I actually don't because I'm like so picky and I don't eat frozen <laughs> food, pre-made frozen food personally. I'm just saying. Yes. We have to be so wise with what we say. And yes. going into the next question, like how do we move from a diet culture that we grew up in to mm. mindful eating and nutrition-based eating? Yeah. It really starts with why you're choosing what you're choosing, right? And this is something mm. we're not taught growing up. Yeah, think about, so, okay, Mother Nature, right? So in simplest terms, think about your body as a cycle and as seasons. So, and when we're starting with our period, I want you to think of your period as like winter, like where we are right this now. Course, girl, this y'all better get, get your paper and pens. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is good. Yes. Hibernate. What do we do in the winter? We hibernate. We need to rest. We need to chill, right? But when we're on our period as a woman, Woman, we think no I got to power through but I'm like you're you're literally bleeding right like you need to chill we enter what we call like spring or this is really like your um, follicular stage of your cycle call it like social superpower time and then that's leading you to ovulation um, you have a higher libido you be one around your partner a lot more and that's where you're going to feel really good. You feel probably your most attractive at that that's time. summer honey that's the summertime but then after summer comes fall mm. and start to kind of like calming hormone your neurotransmitters start to shift a little bit we can notice anxiety might be a little bit higher this is where the moodiness can start to come in leading up to our period so i encourage women to just start tracking your cycle first and be aware of where you are notice trends it doesn't your hormones don't shift overnight notice trends over a 60 to 90 day period and start to tune in what if it is normal for you or not and if it's not what you can do about it Mm. That's so good. Girl, I'm telling you, nobody did it down like that before. This is this is a new thing. These seasons. Who knew in 28 days? We yes. are not crazy, ladies. That's weird. We're, we're the same season. We're the cycling. All my Your podcast just launched. It dropped, girl. How exciting. It's called The Power of Women. What is that all about? And how can viewers um work and connect with you? Ultimately, I want women to feel empowered in their body. So the podcast is about reclaiming and finding yourself as a woman, connecting to how you want to feel, not just in nutrition and in your body, but in your life um, and truly giving you um, solo episodes from me, but with other women who are powerful and have reclaimed that for themselves to help guide you through different ways you can do it. Mm, so good. I'm just very happy we had you today. Uh, get with her, find out how you can work with her, share your Instagram uh, and website, please. Yeah, Instagram is Brooke Razzi. Um, find me there. I'm on there probably way more than I should be. And then my <laughs> website is brookrazzi.com. Coming up next, I'm so excited. We are getting luxurious. So mothers, if you are tired of dropping the kids off at school, looking a hot mess, we've got you. Coming up next, we're talking luxury pajamas with Sarah Burroughs, owner of Mason New Pajamas. She's sharing all about how you can go from day to night. We'll be right back. Candy and dessert tables are the most popular party trends and they are here to stay. In this course, we will walk you through our step-by-step -step plan on creating some of our most popular candy tables and teach you how to make money while doing it. How much candy will I need? How much should I charge? And what kind of inventory should I have? 
We've got the answers at thepartypreneurschool.com.